Oh, afternoon, shall I say? <laughs> Another beautiful day. Gratitude. So yesterday I did about 28 miles. And today I'm gonna walk about 10 miles. <laughs> and uh, I guess different people we're called cool on this planet to do different things. I remember when I started running, <coughs> I run my first marathon after I stopped playing pro soccer. And I said, I would never do this biscuit again. <laughs> that this is a bunch of biscuit. And I was mad too. And that is because I remember doing my first 18 miles in about two hours. And the last eight miles probably took me another almost two hours or if not yeah almost two and a half to two hours just eight miles when I did the first 18 in two hours and I guess at the time I was still a newbie I wasn't thinking I ran it with ego so when I crashed my body I said I would never do this again then one day I think I was in my 30s there too uh, so a friend of mine who's also a runner and uh, he is I think he was 64 I was like 32 and uh, every time I run with him I always want to race like, let's get this thing going I used to play professional soccer I said and I run a marathon I run one marathon and I act like I knew everything about running so this day I don't know what possessed him like my late friend would say my uncle Dave my uncle Dave was the good Oh yeah, <laughs> you name me. So this day, he decided, okay, I'm just gonna run with you, guy. And I kid you not. Know, all I know is he outrun me, and I remember asking whatever it is, God, make him stop. He did not stop, and each time I pray for him to stop, he just speeds up and. He ran so hard, he crashed my own body. And the only thing I could do is stop while he turned around jogging backwards and asking me, am I still coming? And I remember that day I looked and I said no and I walked the hardest eight miles to my car because all my ego came in. And since that day, I have never stop running because I wanted to be like this 64 year old who outrun the 32 year old